Attention. Uh, I need to say that during this episode, I make a very silly mistake by not marking places as cell blocks. And as many times throughout the video, please tell me what I've done wrong. I realize as I'm editing it right this second, that's what I've done wrong. You don't need to leave a million comments. I've realized everything's fine now. Prison architect as we draw ever closer to our final goal of 500 prisoners we're only up like 100 and 160 dudes away at this point so this is, we're, we're, we're actually almost there the one thing i've got to try and fix today and the, the comment i saw all over yesterday's episode is about parole two things about parole specifically the first one is somebody said you 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 are not using your parole rooms enough so the advice is quite literally spam the parole button until you can fit no more in so we've now got maximum parole going on at all times here. Um, God knows how many slots we've got. Probably like 50 of the fucking things. But I was just reading through the comments and simultaneously someone was murdered again by a prisoner with a fountain pen, which is just ridiculous. I bought this up on Discord. Why the fuck every parole lawyer legally has to have a very sharp pen on them at all times is bizarre. Why all contracts have to be signed immediately with a fountain pen specifically is bizarre. And why we can't just say, hey, uh, let's have these metal detectors detect fucking metal rather than nothing at all is bizarre. Anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. So somebody said the best way that we can do uh, to get around this is turn it into one big room and then take away the walls in between and have each parole room, because they're still indoors, apparently that still counts, then have just one armed guard in, like, this whole big room, if I'm interpreting the comment correctly, anyway. So I'm just going to experiment around with this and kind of see how things go. What I have done is I've rebuilt all of the facilities that we lost yesterday to kind of the same place we were yesterday. The only caveat is I haven't put down the psychiatrist rooms, because I've still got to make sure I've got the balance right on those first, without dumping a little bunch of money, because obviously they're quite expensive. So, what I've got down here is our Supermax facility set back up. Put a common room down just to fill the extra space, to be honest with you. I don't want too many Supermax prisoners in the same area. Um, and then we've got, like, a bunch of guards, K9 unit, whatever else. I haven't opened this up yet, so we've got plenty of money just lying on the table. One of the other big comments I got was about door servos. So, people were saying that door servos can be put basically everywhere. Like, I'm not using enough. So, I put them on these, um... I put them on these roadblocks. So we've got two on the top and two on the bottom there as well. That way it'll also facilitate visitors. Somebody said if you want money, use more forestry. So I put a big old forestry area here. I need to finish off these laundry rooms too because I noticed our laundry need was getting quite high. I also paved over, well, everything, to be honest, because it affects move speed. Um, somebody was saying that, that, that basically I've just got to play a skate mode a little bit more to get used to the kind of movement speeds, but just to throw some stuff down to... Uh, to, to really go for that. So I've, I've paved over all this kind of staff areas. I actually did use the toilet technique. And let me see if the dog finds something here. Um, but somebody suggested... All right, here we go. Somebody suggested that if you get something like this, where they're finding lots of, of kind of areas in a straight line, that we can obviously stick down the toilet. I think I talked about this briefly yesterday. We could put a toilet down on top of that and then have them remove the toilet immediately. Uh, I don't know whether it's at the top or the bottom there. So we'll just put down two. It's only 200 a piece, right? So it's a very cheap way to uncover these tunnels. But if we do that, I'm hoping they'll speed up here so I can actually show it off. If we do that, we can then take the toilets away and it'll uncover. And it actually legitimately works. And it's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. So we just now have to dismantle them. And then that's it. Hopefully they'll prove that in a second. And hopefully I'm just... There you go. So we've got some tunnels right there. It is the silliest thing I've ever seen. And I can't believe that works. But that is, that is some great advice right there. Let's patch that back up. The other thing was staff only areas. That was quite a big comment I saw as well. So I'm trying to remember everything that I didn't cover yesterday, having lost it all. And then also what I saw yesterday. The other big thing was the staff only areas. Everybody was saying make it all staff only. And then just have people, obviously where I've re-floored everything, it's kind of ruined it again. But um, make everything staff only and the guards will just take them over there. Like if we make the rooms um, medium security, for example, the guards will escort them in. People were saying I could even time the deployment schedule to match the uh, parole session so that we could have a guard in there as someone is, put, as it, is paroling and then bring them back out when it's done. I think that's kind of a good idea, but I, I think that's a little bit too fiddly when we could just do it this other method and open everything up. So we'll see how that goes. But I think everything is still set up as intended. I'm going to get down a couple of uh, washing areas there. So this is all going to be our criminally insane wing again. Now, apparently, criminally insane is quite easy to manage as long as you get the psychiatrist. They're not very dangerous. You don't have to worry so much about them getting into violent fights. It's just that they break down occasionally. That's when the orderlies step in. 
So apparently it's super, super easy to manage. So I was thinking we, we could even cram this full of more and more cell blocks. So I'm leaving this kind of barren for the time being. We're going to get some psychiatrists in and kind of see how it goes. Then maybe I'll fill it up with even more cell blocks because we, we want to hit 500 prisoners, right? We've got one more quadrant. So that leaves me with either we go minimum security. We've got medium. We've got maximum. We've got super max down here, a kind of small block there. Then we've got criminally insane. So minimum security up here and ramming 200 people into the same area. That would fulfill our goal. And then that's the, that's the final grant ticked off and we've, we've, we've done it. We've completed prison architect. We haven't really, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> After doing a little bit of research, uh, quite literally the answer to what kind of psychiatrist to prisoner ratio should I have is as many as your prison needs, which is really fucking helpful. I mean, it's obvi it's the obvious answer, isn't it, right? But I was kind of hoping I could get maybe some sort of brief explanation. So I did notice with the psychiatrist office the first time I built them again. I haven't got any experience actually doing this at all yet that the psychiatrist's office you can expand as you do more and more psychiatric sessions allowing you to unlock new things that make the sessions more effective so one thing it is we'll um we'll leave a little gap between there maybe build a fence or something uh and then i guess we'll tile a few around it so should we, should we set up like the basic prison stuff now because they are because it's a criminally insane world i'm, I'm looking at a minimum security prison i'm thinking what won't we won't, what won't we have i assume we still want a gym and a library and a yard and an infirmary, of course. Solitary is probably irrelevant. Same with the classroom and the mail room and the uh, maybe even visitation. I'm not entirely sure. Workshop almost certainly. They're doing a little session in there right now. Uh, shop. I'm not even sure the fucking shop works still, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. See, I'm not entirely sure where to begin with that. Let me let me fix these laundry rooms before I bloody forget, eh? Let's go one, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know how many laundry bins we'll need. I'll just put down four on each. Fuck it. There you are. Hire a couple more, maybe, janitors, too. There you go. Um, is that good? Laundry. Oh, right. It's just examining stored it. Yeah, right. Got it. So, I guess we'll just kind of copy... We could copy this and just rotate it around, because it should fit in the same area, actually. Let me, let me just grab this and spin it around, see if that works. Um... Yeah, so it should do something like that. Yeah, that actually fits perfectly. And then... That's kind of an annoying gap there, isn't it? Shit. I could open it up to... I suppose we could put an infirmary there. That works. And then have the door over here and a path up to the yard from there. And then we could fill this area all with psychiatric offices. Yeah, that could work. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if we put down something like, uh, something like that. And then we have the door there instead... And then we can have the big infirmary here. That still works pretty well. Everything's nice and interconnected there too. Do we want anything else? Uh, so we've got gym, library. Again, I'm not sure if we can put psychiatric inmates to... Or I should say, obviously, criminal insane inmates to work or anything like that. Um, I, again, I don't think we need canine units. Or, or maybe we need, like, a, a guard or two or an armed guard or two in case things kick off. But it's all orderlies, isn't it? In hell, as far as... Oh, I got an achievement. Wait and hope. What the hell is that? Uh... Unlock the entire tre tech tree. Did I not have that? <laughs> Did I not already have that? I mean, I, I got this one. Um, oh, was that the only one we were missing? I genuinely thought that was added by a mod. So this is the next thing I was coming on to talk about. A lot of people recommended to me the snitch sorter mod. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Snitch. See my fucking mouse drift in there and people wonder why I'm bad at so shooting in Fallout New Vegas. The, the snitch sorter basically it's this machine that you can put somewhere and it automatically will sort snitches out from the general population given the yellow jackets so if we put it in there it, it works in quite a small radius unfortunately um but i mean everybody has to come through reception right and that's exactly why i wanted something like this so in theory as they come through now it will whack a jacket on them oh why the fuck have i not opened the prison up what are you doing uh hang on intake 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 so we want supermax preferably uh and legendary prisoners M maybe Give me all available. No, no, no. Give me full capacity. <laughs> Maybe I don't want 221 extra prisoners. There we are. Much better. Everything's set up properly. This is all Supermax, right? It certainly is. That's all Supermax. This up here should be staff only. That wall in particular, nobody wants that. Staff, criminal insane. No one. Okay, let me go. It's insane, insane. This should all be insane security, right? Certainly looks like it. Uh, no, no, no. This we need to go staff only, staff only. This will make that staff only Ooh, or not. That door, again, counts as canteen. This one doesn't. This is the direction of the door. Oh, I see. How bizarre. Uh, okay. So just double checking now. That looks fine to open up. 
And then we've got 30 medium security. The chances are that's all from paroling, right? Because we haven't had many deaths recently, as far as I know. You guys actually going to get to work? I mean, I've got to assign jobs there. Did I not do that? Uh, prison labor. Hey, there we are. Qualified prisoners, 29. Think of the money I could be making. There we go. Forgot to actually assign them. Oh, this is great. Oh, my God. Think of the money. Have I got an export area still down? Because obviously, I read it this front entrance. Yeah, we're good. Oh, this is this is nice. Uh, how are we doing on the reports? And that's the only thing, other thing to check. It's actually really good. Yeah, luxuries is still a problem, but I did do a little bit of searching. People are saying just let some contraband in. Um, hygiene is pretty low. I don't know why it's pretty low, because everybody gets a shower. Oh, that was another thing I had to fix. Oh, no, there you go. It's fixed immediately now. Uh, somebody said, man, this is really nice, isn't it? This might be the best it's ever been. Warmth, privacy, freedom is up there. Clothing is, is really, really good now that we've built those other two laundrettes, I assume. Um, what's wrong with that? Oh, right, whatever. Luxuries is still pretty bad. Uh, everything else, though, is pretty good. Literature is one of the bigger concerns. Yeah, wow. Um, what was the thing I was going to fix in the regime? Somebody said that the shower is... What do they say? They said something like, make the shower only one hour, but it was already one hour. I don't entirely know. Now, the other thing, the other bit of information someone threw at me is that they only need to shower once, and the, sh the, the hygiene bar only drops when people go to sleep. So you can do, like, one shower once in the morning, and that's it. You're fine for the rest of the day. Um, I think that's fine anyway. Sorry, if I'm if I'm misunderstanding how that actually works, please let me know. And we are chunking through prisons now. We're getting this look. I wonder how much money we've made just from paroling at this point, huh? Okay, is there anything else I need to do with the cell? It's all padded cells too, isn't it? Certainly looks like it. None of the rooms are messed up. So uh, let's quickly turn this into. Let's get this one finished as soon as possible. And then when we've done this, and once we've got it balanced, we can move on to our final goal of the last kind of kind of 200 and whatever prisoners are up to now 260 prisoners and what i was saying before before i was interrupted by that achievement i'm not even sure the criminal insane need this if they don't we'll move it we'll get we'll replace it with more cells and just keep rounding them in so next thing then let's get the psychiatrist office down the psychiatrist office i did double check from the quit build menu do actually allow enough room for the upgrades you get as well you can get like a leather couch you get a, a raw shark test i think that's how you say it anyway um stuff like that so i guess we'll just start we we'll start just throwing him down here huh if we do that one block, uh, how big are the rooms? Let me, let me do a little bit of planning here. So we want... Right, so it's six by six. So we could go maximize room and just have one block between each one. Right? Do it like that. How does that look down here? See, that leaves us with a bit of a gap. So what I'll do is I'll do it six by six. And then six by 11. And then we go six by 11 again. We've got this little area up here. We could do a walkway between there. Yeah, I think that kind of works. Just just for a little bit of, you know, environmental change. Just to keep it kind of nice. Um, alternatively, what could we do? We can move the rooms out and flip it around to use it the dead space. Oh, yeah, that will work better. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. Leave a little bit of gap around the edge was what I was thinking. Then it, we, we've got a little bit more, a little bit more traffic control. And that's quite a lot of offices. We can even tar more down here again. I'm going to leave it empty for now. We'll see how that they get on with that. If we need more psychiatrist rooms, we can put it down. If we're managing it well, we can put down some cell blocks. If we're kind of breaking even, we put down a couple of offices, a couple more cell blocks, something like that. I also need to check whether or not they need solitary. What have you done here? <laughs> what have you done? Okay, hang on. Let's fix all this shit then. We need psychiatrists, right? How much are they put? 200 a day. Brother, I'm trying to run a business here. I mean, brother, I'm trying to run a prison here. There we are. And they all fucking swapped over anyway, dicks. <laughs> you fucking, you fucking old dick. Right, okay. Let's go intake. Enable criminally insane. Give me the fucking lot. Give me the lot. And we're not going to take all 200 in one go, obviously. Uh, so we can try and work out where our, where our problem's like. Who is unable to be assigned to a cell? To protective custody. Ah... Right, okay. So this forestry area I've got up here, I'll be honest, I just made it forestry because I was like, fucking what else are we going to do with it? That's now protective custody. Um, this is still going to be max sec. This is always going to be max sec. Where are our supermax prisoners? Did they not turn up? Hello? Oh, we didn't get any supermax? What? Death row? Oh, I could I could build death row. Uh, 2,500 apiece. And you go through them quicker. Ooh. I might half this. No, I'll take up. I'll take maybe an eighth of this. We'll turn it to death row or something. I feel like having minimum security prisoners right next to. Uh, we could put loads of windows. No, put it right in the middle, 
and then have loads of windows looking in around a yard which surrounds it by minimum security prisoners so they can look into people being blown up. And then they will think to themselves, I need to, I need to get off this path. I need to redeem myself. I need to get this muck out of my veins and I need to reform my life. Otherwise, that'll be me. They'll look in there and they'll see themselves staring back. That's brilliant. That is... That is fucking brilliant. I don't know why they're not sending Supermax. Uh... What the fuck? How have I done that wrong? Worked fine yesterday. <laughs> um... Why are we not allowed Supermax? We got cells? We got cells for them. Prisoners trying to eat this canteen. I don't understand. Are we got any legendary prisoners? Because I could just slap a, a Supermax jacket on them and ship them out and see what the problem is. Um... Let's go intelligence then. Let's see what we've got in here. Uh, what was informants? Here we are. Right, okay. Legendary, there's one. Right, you. He's not that dangerous, even though he is legendary. I'm still going to slap the jacket on him. Get him out of there. Let's see what we can end up. If he gets added onto the list of people who are unable to be assigned to cells, we have a problem. We've got potential... Oh, hello. Okay, here we are, here we are. Um, informant. Confidential informant, there we are. Uh, we've got legendary prisoner there, Dana. Let's go ahead and slap a maximum jacket on him. Uh, anyone else? We've got another one up there. Fucking hell. We've got three just in general population hanging around. Fletcher, you, my friend, are Supermax. There we go. Okay, are we, are we good? Is that everybody? Let me just double check here. Uh, oh, right, we could also see that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right, uh, informants then. There are people that I think would rather go into... Uh, that, I, that I'd rather be thrown into Supermax than some of these legendary prisons. To be honest, like this guy up here, fucking hell. Extremely strong, stoical, and fearless. I think we're going to make him super max, to be honest. Strong, stoical, and fearless. I think I'll make him super max. You can never be too... Oh, look, we've got free cells. We might as well use it decently. And then if we got super max prisoners that can come in, we can move these guys back into general population, seeing as apparently they've been, you know, no problem at all so far. Let's see if they actually get moved over. Yeah, two prisoners are unable to be assigned a cell, but everyone else is good. What are we? What is it? Is it solitary or... Oh, look, look at what we're getting now. Two maximum security, 26 million insane one legendary six medium so it's just the two yeah it's just the two other guys then right okay so let's go oh, i don't want to use all of this area I, I quite like having a bit of forestry but to be fair the money it's bringing in compared to our other prisons is just so good isn't it we don't need that big a building let's be honest we don't, we don't need that big a building here let's go concrete building um just do something like i suppose have to build their own fucking canteen too god you people are so inconvenient um we could Maybe I could just maybe build a wall through there. Have like th three cells. Have them eat in the same building. <laughs> Is that... I mean, we had it set up that, that way beforehand, but I didn't like it. Oh, fuck it. We'll just hire one cook. Whatever. I'm sure we'll be fine. If we want to save a bit of cash, we could sack some workers because I hired a whole fleet of workmen. Uh, because obviously I was paving over the entire fucking thing. I decided let's just hire 50 workmen and just see how that goes. It requires entrance. Did I not put one? I, I did put one down. I know I fucking did. Uh, alright, but I guess it's I guess it's gone now. Hang on, let's try that again. Is that working? You know what? I actually can't tell. I don't think it is. Yeah, look. Plant tree and forestry. That's what's going on with it. Hey, fuck off. Right. Let's deal with that first. Still doing it. And then the workmen are coming in behind him and digging it up. This is costing me a fortune. <laughs> Okay, let's try it again. Maybe now that we've got rid of the trees. Did that work? It's kind of hard to tell. That that looks as if if it's looks like it's worked properly. There we go. Good shit. They put the concrete wall in the wrong place. But I don't really care that much. Right, and we will put... They are still prisoners at the end of the day. They might still escape. I don't know if they will, but it's probably worth it. Um, let's go ahead and swap that out then for a proper fucking jail door now that we've sorted that problem. Um, kind of a secure door. I don't think... You know, Splinter Cell himself is going to break in and uh, and and kill him dead, but <laughs> might as well be a little bit more secure with it. Hey, fucking hell! Look at the parole lawyers that just turned up. Whole bloody boss of them. How many people have we got up for parole? Oh, we got twelve people. I was even thinking maybe getting rid of the beds and replacing them with comfy beds in Supermax, keep them as kind of luxurious and unlikely to rebel as possible. I mean, is there any downsides to doing that throughout the whole prison? Eventually, when you turn enough profit. I mean, there's not like a maintenance cost, is there? On better fucking furniture or anything. Um, oh, that's annoying bollocks uh right let me see what i can do to make this kind of line up a little bit better now that we've got that snitch sorter i imagine our 
I imagine protective custody will fill up a lot quicker. The only reason we didn't have any call for it before was because I wasn't actively looking for them. But now we've got something that does it for us automatically. So, yeah, I, I think we need to be a bit more careful about things. So, let's go. If we do that. No, we need room for a kitchen, don't we? Let's do something like that, then. This area in the middle can just be a fucking common room or something. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rooms. Uh, to be honest, I can even put, one, put a couple in there as well. Oh, that's it. Just got to sweep the road, eh? Don't want the road getting dirty. <laughs> that's what I fucking pay these people for. We go canteen there and a kitchen right there. There we are. I, c I, like, I like this. I like having super maximum and snitches separated. Again, even though I'm sure it would have put the fear of God into them because snitches do indeed get stitches. I, I still think it's like legally in terms of the, the overall prison health. This is probably a better system. And I'm glad we've done it this way in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we are. So our criminally insane people are here. What we need to do... Oh, so we, uh, it, it said that it's recommended to try and keep the bars in the yellow. Yellow is kind of manageable. Obviously, white is best. That means that they're, they're happy. But we've got to be very careful about getting the balance right. You can't try and keep everybody in the white, basically. It's not worth it. So let's go programs. Again, this is only what I've read. I haven't got any experience with these guys quite yet. Let's throw in psychiatric consultation. And then I've been told just fill this up as much as possible. Because it's like you've got staff specifically for it. It's necessary to run it. And it's not going to affect it. I mean, if you've got the rooms for it, why not? Basically. So let's just fucking ram it in. There we go. We've got way more to go. How are we looking? Oh my god. We can fit in even more. What the fuck? I mean, hey. We're paying these goddamn psychiatrist wages. We better fucking just fill up all the slots, eh? There we go. Okay, good shit. So we'll see how that... We'll see how we get on with that. Um, but ideally, again, if we, if we end up getting all the prisoners down into white, we could even go as far to uh, to hire some more... Or, or put, in, put down some more prison cells. Now, what we really need to deploy here is some orderlies, don't we? Um, I don't know how many psychiatric prisons we'll end up with in total. But I would say for this entire building, what do you think, like... Uh, hmm, let's go for, like... What, what do you think we'll start for like 10? What's their wages looking like? 75 a day. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll go We'll go 10 for that and see how they get on. No free cells for this prisoner. Oh, they do need solitary confinement. That doesn't seem right. For criminally insane people to just chuck him in a... Okay, I mean, fair enough. I mean, you've got to hand down the punishment, right? Uh, is there a quick build padded solitary cell? Uh, yes, there are. Okay, so let's throw down a few of these then. Get it, get it under control. We learned nothing from that touching campaign story about that one man. Although he he came out of it all right, didn't he? Because I thought he was poisoned by rat poison. Turns out it was just some other fucking dude. Oh, seven escapees. I should really pay more attention to the dogs. I always think that we're we're untouchable because of all our perimeter walls. But damn, that's that's quite a hefty one. Seven escapees is quite a hefty one. I start building more toilets everywhere, you know. God damn. I mean, again, fair enough. <laughs> that was a lot of dedication. There's the parole room I was talking about and, and what the commenter said to set it up as. So this way we've got a massive parole room. I've been able to fit in loads more tables in there. Probably irrelevant, but it probably just can't hurt to have it either. We're using the same amount of space. And in theory, it's also safer too. So why not? So let's also set up a uh, let's have a door with the servo here too before I forget that. And then uh, I think that's going to look pretty good, eh? We, we could get a couple of metal detectors on the front there. It's not really worth it. We've got one going into the visitor's area anyway, and they can't get contraband through. I only put these there because we could, but I might scrap them in hindsight. We don't need them. These door servers are great, eh? They are. They are really good. I, I don't know in what situation I would ever find myself needing to use logic circuits. No, my prison has a very efficient Zorgate gate system that controls the flow of traffic. No, no. I, I, I think that is that is hell. That is when you know you've played too much Prison Architect. You've got shit like that going on. What I've got is two different door control systems, each one with roughly half the doors. Because then, you know, light, light green, light, gr green light good. Yellow light bad. Well, yellow light if it's on forever bad, because then obviously they can't open the doors effectively. But it seems fine. You know, it's barely any slowdown on getting these doors opened. Got anyone in Supermax? We still haven't got anyone in Supermax after I slapped those jackets on them. What the fuck have I done wrong here? Am I going crazy? It worked fine yesterday. Am I going to make this Supermax and this bit Supermax? No. What have I done wrong? Just double check here. Su su Supermax. Yeah, we're all good. I've set that as Supermax now. Obviously, I don't want the inmates getting in there. Why is that not working? 
Let's, let's go back to our intelligence tab, see if we can track down our... Uh... So there's our ledger prisoner. Are you not waiting to be moved? Wait, were you... You are... No, you're not a Supermax prisoner. You're a Supermax prisoner. Why is he not being moved out? I don't understand. <laughs> can... Surely Supermax and Maximum Security Cut, they're different categories. You can't just keep those guys mixing together like this. Uh, let's go to uh, logistics. I haven't said this is just anyone, have I? Oh, sorry, deployment? Yeah. That's, that's maximum security, right? Yeah, that's maximum security, okay. I honestly don't know. If anybody knows what's going on there, please let me know. That would be that'd be great to know. Because that's, um... That's weird. That's really weird. Is there any benefits to having servers over remote doors? Because it just occurred to me. I mean, I know I talked about it yesterday, where there's no actual keys to remote doors versus secure doors. Um, but is there any benefit? Because the remote doors are, like, way more expensive, aren't they? They're just sticking a secure door down with a door servo. I never really considered it. Um, I, I guess we'll put, like, a, a, a really strong remote door, like, here or something. Just to stop them, like, to really stop them at the end there. Hey, Connors, what's going on with that? If you know, please let me know. How are our criminal insane prisoners doing? You know what? They're actually all doing... Look at this. White, 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 white bar. White bar, white bar. They're, they're great. Okay, so we can take in loads of... Damn, they're all doing really well. Some of these guys aren't, aren't bothered at all. Look at them. Holy shit. And how's, how's our needs doing? Uh, again, absolutely fine. Hygiene is just about to be dealt with, like, now. Because I've set, I've moved the timer, um, or the, I should say the, the regime, so that the second they wake up, they'll shower immediately. Let me see if that's going to work okay. Did I actually seem that that works fine yet? Yeah, I'd assume it would, whenever they fucking wake up. What time is it? Oh, there we are. Shower. And that should immediately solve all their problems, like, instantly. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's good. Then food is the biggest issue, but obviously that will happen when it happens, you know. That's... I think we're doing good. I think we're actually legitimately doing okay here. You son of a bitch. He just went in there and murdered that guy for no reason. Where are my orderlies? Where are my orderlies? You see any at all? I can't see any. Where are they? Maybe they're just out in other parts of the prison. I suppose they set up a patrol route for them. What the hell are they doing? You assign orderlies. Oh my god, you get that you put them on the patrol route, same as other guards. I had no idea. Okay, uh, so let's go like, let's start with a dead end. So there's a terminus point there. So we'll do something like, uh, well, let's get them to sweep through the common room, bring it down, and we'll deal with this all as one big block there. And then we'll take a magenta patrol. Let's go assign orderlies. Let's go like... I think five orderlies on one patrol there isn't a bad idea. Just to stop random murders like that going down. And then we got a terminus there. And where does this go to? It goes all the way down and around. I guess we could have this as one big patrol route and just assign a couple more people. Maybe like six to this one. One, two, three. Oops. Four, five, six. Something like that. And then, um, let me check the schedule as well for these guys. What does that end up? Regime. <laughs> Programs free time. They do get free time, but again, I don't know if they have yard need. Is there a way to check? Uh, I guess not. Security is five. Holy shit. Estimated reoffended chance 2%. Wow. That seems pretty good. And I think I'll just maybe deploy a couple of orderlies around. Maybe a couple in there, a couple in there. Kind of like that. A couple in this area, perhaps. Just kind of hanging around, keeping an eye on things. We could just deploy a couple of of them just kind of casually to hang around in there, too. The solitary cells, are, are they still not set up? Is it because they don't have... Oh, those are... Oh, my God, those are our snitches. Right, 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 of course. What's going on with the snitches? They can't go into their cells, either. So there's something wrong with how I've set up these snitch cells and these, um, these supermax cells, isn't there? Is it because they're... I feel like it's something so obvious, but I don't know what it is exactly. See, I, I'm thinking it's not down to where I've isolated it like this with the staff room, because that's the same of all of these prison blocks, right? Go to reception and then what? Like, they're just fucking stuck. And we've got guards free. Two arresting, nine and doing jobs, tennis station, 14 patrolling. Like, they've got time to actually move them over. There are no free cells for this prisoner. 
And yeah, I've seriously fucked something somewhere. You know what's going on with that? That is that is that is the biggest priority right now. That, that that's just a logistics issue. Like obviously I've just misassigned something somewhere. Maybe it's because we've only got staff doors coming in, or I mean it's also blocked by a bin, but I don't think that'll make too much difference, to be completely frank. No fucking clue. Secure doors? Maybe that fucks with it? Like prisoner like cell quality I know was a big one as well. Uh what's that in a prison policy? Let's go snitches. Uh there's like um I'll just untick that. Maybe that affects it. No, that's made no difference either. <laughs> Man, shit, I have no idea. Both this area and the top one are, are fucked, and I think it might be something to do with the fact that it, that it is assigned as a... Uh, as a staff-only area, but I'll leave that down to you guys to uh, to let me know on that. The other final thing I want to talk about very briefly is I noticed, and I think this might be the cause of why I lost all that progress yesterday. Look what happens when I try and load prison. You see this here? Auto save prison. It says king of the potato people. Prison has three gang leaders, eight gangs, yada, yada, yada. It's using the Steam Workshop description of another mod for my prison. Enjoy escaping this functional chaotic prison. If you enjoyed this one, try my other escape mode prisons. Like what? So I think it might be something from the Steam Workshop that's fucking us up there. If anyone else has that problem again, let me know. I know that's not the issue. Um, let's go ahead and disable that. Let's go ahead and disab disable that again. It must have re-enabled. Yeah, very concerning. But I don't know what's going on there. Again, please tell me how to fix this. Because this is this is just a logistics issue that I've, I've fucked up somewhere. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what exactly I've done wrong. We're getting there. Tomorrow then, we'll finish off the criminally insane area. We'll see kind of how it's looking when we get a few more people in. See how the orderlies can now, uh, can hopefully now deal with things. And that should be that problem pretty much dealt with i'm hoping and then from there we'll see if we can pack in 200 or, or more hopefully minimum security prisoners and we'll say we have achieved prison architect right then thank you in the meantime of course to our executive producer tier patrons for voting for this series and of course making the channel possible in the first place a big thank you goes out to sub royland ash and jack cyber baby angel tenacious bloom udric blood snakes chaos apple cat nikki's sticks scaps voodoo mumbo hottie sphinx king snitch gaming spray can low res quail and chihuahua along with everyone else of course the executive producer tears over on patreon for making this possible in the first place that got very kind of airport safety uh demonstration there for a second didn't it thank you as well to callum james three lucius martius cass lilac flux marsh mystic 370 astros fan one two three four five nox immortalis mount Cadalbe, matteo and everyone else as well.